In last night's win over the Miami Heat, SGA had another incredible game, scoring 37 points, 5 rebounds, and 6 assists. On top of the big performance, SGA joins Kevin Durant for their most 30-point games in a single season uh, in OKC franchise history. You know what I'm saying? So my boy SGA out here, you know what I'm saying, making history. SGA scored 12 points in the fourth quarter alone last night against Miami and scored 10 of his 12 in the final three minutes, just showing how clutch SGA can be. You know what I'm saying? Um, We've seen SGA hit so many clutch shots, so many like half-court game, not half-court game winners, but three-point game winners and you know, I just like how clutch and just how composed he is under the pressure. You know what I'm saying? This guy is really, comp like, for him to only, you know, for him to just start being a star and for him just to start, you know, leading the team and him to just be so composed in the moments is just, it's talent. You know what I'm saying? It's something you just, you know, can't teach to everybody. You know what I'm saying? The SGA got that skill. Um, and Shea is, right now is currently number two on the MVP ladder. You feel me? He's uh, right behind Joker, um, which I think is fair. You know, Joker just had a 32-point triple-double against the Boston Celtics. Um, crazy performance, man. We, we all know cra how crazy Jokic is. Um, he was the MVP last season. And uh, I would not be surprised if Jokic went back-to-back -back with MVPs this season. Um, it just, I honestly just want to see somebody different get the MVP as a fan, you know what I'm saying? So I think voters... Will vote for SGA, but I think um, Joker. I think Jokic obviously deserves it, but we all shall see if you know SGA can get more you know votes. And not only that, but the Denver Nuggets are seven and one since the All Star break. So you know, you know, Jokic is just an all around leader. You know, what I'm saying they win it more now. Um, you never know. Denver might might mess around and capture the number one seed before the playoffs start. So um, this is a team that's just always you know always winning. You know, what I'm saying you don't really got to worry about them winning. They gonna win games. Um, and with last night's victory, OKC sits at the number one seed in the West, only one game ahead of Denver and a half a game ahead of Minnesota. So um, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie, man. The West is looking real competitive this year. One thing I don't know is can the OKC play this good in the playoffs? You know what I'm saying? Most of the, most players on this roster has little to no playoff experience, which could be a problem against a low seeded team like the Mavericks, who has Kyrie Irving, Luka Doncic, Tim Hardaway. A very deep team that's, like I said, has, you know, had playoff experience, has a coach in Jason Kidd who has been there. You know what I'm saying? I just think, t like, if they face off a team like that, they're doomed. You know what I'm saying? Um, or even the Lakers, you know what I'm saying? Who's the eighth seed right, or the ninth seed, I think, right now. Um, they have LeBron and AD. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, and when I think of OKC in a seven-game series, I just can't see them winning against either of these teams. Um, like I said, you got... You got a team like LeBron that can knock them off in the first round because they got LeBron, you know what I'm saying, who can just turn up because of his experience, because of the power he has to just turn up. Like, we've we seen him literally bring the Lakers back against the Clippers not too long ago. He just got that Superman power in him, you know what I'm saying? LeBron, is at, he's 39, but he can still turn up like he's 23. Then you have Anthony Davis, who can defend very well and also score at a very high clip at times, um, especially when he's shooting the three ball well, man. I mean... AD could be dangerous at times, especially inside. Um, and plus, all the other weapons they got, like AR, D-Lo. We just seen D-Lo go off last night for 44. So, like I said, man, we got to see come playoff time how OKC is shaping up against these other teams. But if we talk about MVP, man, MVP-wise, I think SJ has a very, very great case this year for MVP. Um, this guy has just been so consistent this year, man. We've seen in his post-game um, conference last night, we've seen him literally say, everything I do in life. It's consistent. You feel me? Like my boy SGA just be spitting, man. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, from my from my perspective, I think SGA can win MVP this season. Um, it's all up to just how everything shapes up. Um, like I said, they're number one in the West, which is one thing that I think is very important in winning MVP because showing that you're the most valuable player is one, showing that you can win. Two, showing that you can play good individually, obviously, and then three. It's just, can you equate it to playoffs? Um, I know a lot of times the playoffs don't really matter with the MVP. I think they should start kind of putting the MVP. I mean, I think they should start adding the playoffs into the MVP award because, like I said, man, the playoffs matter to me. You know what I'm saying? A lot. But that's why we got the finals MVP. So, um, yeah, man, you guys let me know. You guys let me know down below in the comments if you think SGA is uh, the MVP this year. Um, right now, as it stands, he's number two. Um, and Giannis is right behind him at three, man. So, like I said, it's real competitive this year. The West look real competitive this year, man. I don't know 
what's gonna happen in the playoffs we're gonna have some weird we're gonna have like some weird matchups where we got like sga playing like the lakers in the first round and we're gonna have like you know what i'm saying so we're gonna have some real good matchups this year in the playoffs i think this year playoffs is gonna be really really entertaining to see got a 6-6 guard in sga that can just shoot the long ball clutch can drive the can drive the ball on anybody you know what i'm saying he gets to the paint when he wants he has a bag, you know what I'm saying? He can turn around, hit middies. Um, and then they got Chet Holmgren, you know what I'm saying? A 7-1 a guy that can shoot the long ball, block shots, get boards for you. Um, I do think he need to be a little more aggressive on the boards. Um, and I do think Wimby is a lot for rookie of the year over him. Uh, no disrespect to Chet. But like I said, if you if you Chet Holmgren and you've and you been in the league for a whole year and you, you know what I'm saying, and you've been in the whole league, you know what I'm saying, you eat like an NBA player, you train like an NBA player, and you go to all the NBA games, you're not a rookie no more, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? So I think Wimby is a lock for uh, a lock for a rookie of the year. Cause I know I, I made a I know I made a video earlier this year. You know, asking you guys who's better, Victor Wimbayama, Victor Wimbayama or Chet Holmgren. Um, a lot of people saying Victor Wimbayama, and it's turning out to look like it. Um, with Victor going crazy this year, um, you guys let me know down below in the comments if you want another video about Victor and the rookie of the year race. Man, I think I might make a video about that next. Um, but I'm gonna stop blabbing to y'all man. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video If you did enjoy today's video do me a big favor smack that like button leave me a comment on What you want to see next because you guys has not been commenting man I've been wanting you guys to comment, you know argue argue with me in the comments You know, let me know down below in the comments like hey, I want to I want you to make a video about About Luca, you know, what I'm saying just let me know you, you know what you guys want to see from me so I can Bring that for you guys next and next and next, you know, so we can keep this thing going You know, what I'm saying I've been trying to be consistent for you guys been trying to post like every two to three days so my videos got a little bit of time to you know get watched you know what i'm saying so yeah man i appreciate everybody who has been supporting the videos man the videos has been doing very well and i really just want to say i appreciate you guys I haven't said that in a while i know i've just been on grind mode just been posting the videos just posting the videos so i just wanted to take a little bit of time to appreciate you guys real quick um i will probably start bringing back a little bit of my rl content you know i might start bringing back the basketball videos the vlogs so you guys stay tuned, man. I really appreciate you guys for watching. Smack that like button, turn that bell on so you'll never miss a video. I love you guys. Till next video. You dig.